92.7 WOBM, Sean and Sue with you, and we're talking about the Columbus Day Parade and Italian Street Festival. Always a fantastic event every year here at the Jersey Shore, and not only just the event itself, but events leading up and things that are going to take place up until the time for the parade as well. Mike Blandina joins us to talk about that again. Mike, good morning. Welcome back. Good morning. It's always a pleasure to be here with you, uh, Sean and Sue. One of the things that we've got coming up, and it's not that far away that folks could still get involved with, is your fantastic golf classic that's coming up. Tell us all about the day of golf. Absolutely. It's our second annual. We had a great time last year. Uh, this year it's scheduled for Monday, June 27th. At uh, this time we're looking for uh, golfers and sponsors. Uh, and you can get more information about that by going to our website, columbusnj.org, and then check out the events page. It was a fun day last year over at Eagle Ridge, and we're going to be back there this year on the 27th. 27th of June at Eagle Ridge. So golfers, if you want to get involved, help out a great cause and a great day of golf. Eagle Ridge, always a fantastic place to host a day of golf. Check them out uh, for the Golf Classic by uh, getting a hold of Mike. Um, some of the other things, you know, coming up to, uh, you know, time for the event, uh, you're going to try to break a world record. And I guess what you're trying to do now is get everything lined up so that you can do it during, you know, uh, the uh, festival coming up. The Tarantellas. Am I getting it right? Tarantella dance record. Yeah, it's uh, Guinness Book of World Records. Tarantella is was actually broken in Germany. Uh, it's an Italian dance. It's uh, 316 people was the wreck. And we think we can do that here with the large population in, in Ocean and Monmouth County uh, with the uh, Italian heritage and culture people. Yeah. Uh, so we hope to do that on August 14th at Wynwood Beach in Brick Township. Oh, okay, so you do have a day set aside yeah, for we that. have a date set August aside. August 14th. We're just waiting on the approvals from the Guinness people, and they have some you know, strict rules that you have to follow and so forth, and then we'll have a registration form and so forth for anybody that's interested. Right. But uh, we'll definitely uh, be looking to break that record and need everybody's help that wants to get out there. So you have to do it for five minutes and have to beat 316 people. Okay, so for now, tentatively, August 14th. Correct. At Windward Beach is where you're thinking of doing this, and you're going to need 317 people at least. I want 517. There you go. You want to blow the record right <laughs> yeah, out of the water, absolutely. right? Absolutely. Uh, and you could teach people the Tarantella dance. Yeah, it's a Not, very simple it's a, a simple movement. Uh, you know, they probably have heard it if they go to an Italian wedding, but they don't know what the yeah. name of the song is. So if you've ever wanted to be a part, this is going to be a world record. Yes, yes. yes that's very good. Doing. So if you want to be in the Guinness Book of World Records, look forward to that with uh, the folks from the Columbus State Parade Committee yeah. as well. Grand Marshal. Let's talk about this year. Well, this Grand Marshal this year, uh, um, against uh, one individual's uh, <laughs> wishes, uh, my own, they made me the Grand Marshal because I've been well, there for 25 years. congratulations. I think it's but, a, an honor that is is greatly earned by you. Year after year, your time and talents put into this parade. I think uh, that it's fantastic that you'll be able to lead the parade down the boulevard. I, ap I appreciate your uh, congratulations and everybody else's out there that's been calling about it. But we also that day, I'll be presenting. It's funny, I'm going to be starting the dinner that night yes. as the chairman doing some things that I traditionally do, and then I'm going to turn it over to one of our other members to run the rest <laughs> of the night. It, it's got to be done. I always present awards every year, and this year I'm presenting our Heritage and Culture Awards to Luisa Castillo, our long-term uh, treasurer of the committee, Jerry Bove, who works very closely with Italian uh, groups in, in the state, and he owns La Bovo in, in uh, Lakehurst there, and he does a lot uh, yeah. for us over the years. And also... The host community is going to be on it, the borough of Seaside Heights, for hosting us for 25 years and providing the needed services and so forth for that weekend for this many years. So uh, we'll, we'll be honoring all those people that night on June 16th. We're still accepting reservations and, and ads and sponsorships for that event. Even congratulatory messages in the, can be placed in the journal. But uh, it's going to be a fun night. It's always a real Italian night. We have some Italian music that night, and we have a great time. Anybody that's looking to get involved with, and we just mentioned a whole bunch of things going on with the Columbus Day Parade and Italian Street Festival. Best way for folks to get a hold of you for information? There's two ways. They can go to our website at columbusnj.org. They can email us at info at columbusnj.org, or they can give us a call at 732 Four seven seven six five zero seven, and it'll have all our upcoming events uh, as they come up. We all got our Carabas event coming. That Carabas been great to us for for over uh, fifteen years now. Uh, that event will be in September. So all the events as they come up will be on our website. And the uh, year you, for uh, the uh, Italian Street Festival and the parade, we want to mark our calendars. Give us the dates for this year's parade. This year's parade festival. will be Sunday, October 9th at 1 p.m. on the Boulevard in Seaside Heights. And the uh, and the Ocean County Italian Festival will be held Friday through Sunday, October 7th, 8th, and 9th this year. It's a great time of year to be outdoors here at the shore. It's early fall. 
beautiful weather that time of year. Absolutely. Hopefully we're fortunate to have three sunny days and, and comfortable weather. Not too hot, not too cold. And uh, we like to have everybody out there as well as we do throughout the year at these other events. Excellent. Mike Blandino with the Italian Street Festival Columbus Day Parade Committee. And uh, check out their website for more details. Of course, we will keep you up to date as we get closer uh, after the summer to the big event happening in October. Mike, thanks for being in with us. Thank you again, Sean and Sue.